Hello guys and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Before today's video starts, guys, I want to make sure that all of you guys aren't going to replicate anything that you see in this video. It's very dangerous and you could seriously, seriously hurt yourself. So uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know I really would feel bad if any of you hurt yourself. But as you can see, I'm on my roof. Today we're going to be bringing internet from my own wireless ISP all the way to my new house. And my core, my other house, is six or seven miles away. So this dish, hopefully, we will get internet with it. Guys, enjoy the video. So this is the pole that's going to hold the radio. While Luke is outside preparing the bracket that's going to go onto the chimney, what I'm going to do is attach the radio onto the top of this pole so it's nice and gripped on there. Now this may look a slight bit scary, but it's really not. There's just a few bolts here and essentially that goes onto there like, like so. You have four of these, two in the bottom and two in the top. See if you guys can still hear me through the lav mics, but I'm going up, I'm going up the, uh, the ladder here and then I've got to get to Luke who's up there waiting for me, as you guys can see with the, uh, the awesome drone shots here that we're doing with this. Right, so, dish installed on the roof. What I need to do is go and put an ethernet end on the cable so it can be plugged into the radio. So what we need is what's called an RJ45 boot. I like to put these on because they make them look, where well, they make the end of an ethernet cable look very nice. And then these are RJ45 plats. These are the actual RJ45 connectors. And then I use what's called the platinum crimp tool, which is, uh, that's this thing. And then here is the other end of our cable, which we're going to pull up onto the roof. What I'm going to do is turn essentially this into an Ethernet cable. So essentially what you do with these is they don't go in any which way, there's actually an order. So it starts out, actually not going to do, I'm going to do it, put these through here and then show you the order. So essentially, there we go, that is the end of our Ethernet cable up here. The order that I do it in is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And that is called category B Ethernet wiring. As long as you really do the same on either end of the network cable, it's going to be the same result, but that is the standard way of doing it and the standard colouring there. I forgot to put my boot on, I forgot that this was actually going up on the roof, there's no need for it to really look pretty, so I'm just going to cut it like that, twist the ends together like that so it doesn't make a load of mess, insert that into the crimp tool like so, and then one, two, three for good measure, and bish bash bosh, there we have an Ethernet cable. Okay, so essentially this cable here comes down from the radio that's on the roof and I've plugged it into what's called a PoE injector so this is giving power up to the radio as well as giving me an Ethernet port as to which I have plugged into my laptop right now and if you come around here and look at this on the screen you can see that we're pulling 49 megabytes download and 19 megabytes upload without even touching anything yet. We need to go up and align the dishes to make sure that we're pointing in the right direction. But for now, that's pretty solid. What we need to do now is Luke needs to stand here, I need to go up on the roof and try and align the dish. Right, so I've got Luke, he's in the kitchen, I've got him coming out of the AirPods, I'm gonna go up with the spanners and try and adjust this radio. Right, what should I do first? Left and right? Okay, I'm gonna go left. 
79, 78. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's about right. Worse, worse, worse. Have you tried right or is it just not doing it? No, no, it's not doing that, I think. Better? Bit better. Mine, that was good, that was good just then. Yeah, mate, that's perfect, sorted it. Good, right, brilliant, I'm locking it in. Cool. It's aligned as best we can. Funny enough, actually, something to note, the radio, to get a better signal, I've actually moved it lower down, and I thought having it higher up would be a better signal, but not in this case. Lower has given us uh, a much better signal. And there we go, sports fans. The dish, the dish is all there installed. Sweet. Look, come and have a look how much lower it is. It looks so cool. It's like, just come to dunk cheeks straight across. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. What do you do about the pole now? Put it down, you yeah. So bear in mind guys, that is only one end of the link aligned. We need to go now to the other end, which is on somebody else's house, my other house, and align that too. But for now, I know you guys like speed tests, so I'll attempt to run one through the dish. So guys, this is the moment of truth. As you can see, I've got my Wi-Fi turned off right now, connected only via this Ethernet cable right here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and load Google and see how quick, straight up, test into Google, enter, boom, straight up. Okay, let's do a speed test. That's what all you guys are going to want to see right now. So uh, this is me sending myself internet with only one of the dishes aligned right now. So let's see what we get at the new house. Seven ping, straight up to 60 down. Oh, we're dropping a little bit. There we go. As long as I get over 50 down, I'm absolutely fine. And then the upload has to be good, obviously, for uploading these YouTube videos. So anything over 20 up will be absolutely phenomenal here. Let's see. Shunk, straight up to about 40, 40 upload there, which is just absolutely insane for doing these YouTube videos. Wow. That is mental. So guys, as I've explained, the dish is on the roof right now. We've put it a bit lower down, so we need to cut the pole down a little bit. But we're getting 60 odd megs, so that's really, really good. But now we've hit the next problem, where all the tiles on my roof are actually glued down. So we're having to actually chisel out a hole in one of the tiles, so we can get the Ethernet cable through into the roof. Right, okay, back off the roof. I've cut the pole down, so it's all sorted. Cable now goes in to the loft, and now all that's pretty much left to do is do the server rack and get it connected into there. And that is our WAN. <laughs> Woo! Okay guys, so the cable successfully arrived into the loft from the radio. So what I'm doing now is tacking it across the top of the loft, all the way over to here, as to which where my server cabinet is going to reside, where my security gateway or router router is going to live and that is going to go straight into the one portion of the security gateway or router router and then the internet to the house simple as that so guys I'm not sure if you can see this but just the gray cable down here I have tacked is the cable that goes up to the radio on the roof we've tested it guys in today's video we've got 60 to 70 megabytes upload and download through the end of this cable from my internet so that is the case settled i can now supply myself internet to this house without me having to go through the likes of virgin or bt or any of the major cable providers so in the next episode guys we're going to wrap this one up here we are going to be installing the server rack in here, which we have started to board out the loft and this is where the server rack is going to sit on here. So we're going to drill a hole in the back here, server rack will sit on there and then our ethernet cable from our radio will come through there. And then it's a case of running cable to all the access points and all the ethernet ports I want around the house. But guys, this has been episode two, installing the dish for the Ubiquiti Dream Home. Guys. We'll see you in the next one. This has been TechFlow, my name's been Alex. Adios.